To help unpack all the latest events, I'm joined now by Dr. Ola Yinka Ajala, Senior Politics Lecturer at Leeds Beckett University. Uh, Professor, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, what do we expect uh, from these talks that will be taking place in Niamey between ECOWAS and uh, the coup leaders? Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Um, to be honest, um, I don't think there would be uh, an immediate resolution to this. Uh, it's quite unlikely that um, Basum will be restored. I think the military might be looking at um, um, giving a timetable or trying to say to buy more time. Um, the, again, because they've received uh, support from Day and Mali, uh, from uh, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Guinea, as you mentioned in your report, I think it's going to be more, even more tricky for uh, to have any reasonable or amicable solution in the next few days. But the sanctions are biting, and hopefully th there would be a move in some directions. Well, now you've mentioned Mali, Burkina Faso, and of course, ECOWAS, uh, they will try and put the pressure on. But what kind of power do they really have uh, should uh, democracy not return to Niger? They don't have a lot of power, to be honest. They, they have the power to block um, and, uh, and um, impact on the economy, which might then force the military to give concessions. Uh, but I don't think they would want to use force, because it's tricky now that um, uh, the government of Burkina Faso, Mali, and Guinea are saying an attack on the Jays is an attack on them all. So they will try to continue to use economic sanctions. Um, as of this morning, the price of rice is almost doubled. The price of staples are increasing because of the blockade, so to say, because of the, uh, the sanctions already biting. So they will try and see if that would yield more and um, force people to, um, to show um, a kind of um, uh, negative attitude towards the regime. But we did see that today with the, pro uh, with the protest. And obviously in the protest today, we saw a lot of Russian flags once again uh, being waved. Uh, what, what benefit do supporters of the coup believe they can get from Russia, which they haven't got uh, from uh, the likes of France or other European nations, even the United States? Well, they, 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 they may you with uh, what they think they can get. They think um, Russia can help in the fight against insurgency. And one thing that a lot of people don't understand is the fact that there is the issue of human rights when we talk about the fight against insurgency. Um, the European Union, France, and America, they put a lot of emphasis on um, human rights as in the fight against insurgency, which is rightly so. But, so. but the people think that they could have done better, they could have gone all out and root out the insurgents and, and be firmer in their attitude. So they are thinking dealing with Russia would actually um, remove some of these human rights issues and give them the opportunity to go all out against um, um, insurgent groups. The same thing happened in Nigeria. You know, the issue of human rights and how this impacts on the fight against insurgency is a big deal. So we, we, they, they, they think um, Russia, um, through Wagner, might be able to help them. And then again, there's a lot of resentment against France. So they, they are looking outside to see if they can collaborate with other countries like Russia, like China, who would, so to say, respect their um, integrity and their sovereignty. So that, that plays a significant role. And, and very briefly, uh, then, what would that mean for security? To be honest, I don't think it's going to change anything. Uh, if you look at Burkina Faso, for instance, uh, as we speak now, terrorists have taken over more than 50 percent of the of the country. So the military are not doing as well as you'd have expected in the fight against insurgency. Insecurity has increased in Burkina Faso. It's increased in Mali. So I, I don't see insecurity reducing because with coup like this, you alienate yourself and um, the country, they've done that. They are losing allies um, within and outside of the continent. And I think insecurity would be on the increase um, if this is not resolved quickly. Thank you so much uh, for your insight. That's Professor Olayinka Ajale, Senior uh, Politics Lecturer at Leeds Beckett University. And uh, we will keep you up to date with all the developments that are happening in Niamey.